we will be having a look at the type of the reversible reaction so like uh, as we have discussed the two quantities the chemical reaction two quantities that is the reactant reactant and product okay reactant what is reactant and product so a uh, reactant is like uh, for example i'm going to give you the example that how the reactant is converted into product for example the uh, like the in the formation of water in the formation of water what are the components the components can be like uh, the hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas hydrogen hydrogen gas plus oxygen is converted into h 2 o so at this point by the means of the mm, reactant here the new thing is made that is product okay and here as you can see by the addition of the two substance that is known as we are making a new thing that is product and that is react this is the difference between them now we will have a look at another example that can be 2 n a h c o 3 okay sodium carbonate is converted into water this is the like that is reactant uh, like explain you converted into water sabse pehle water carbon dioxide uh, this is like sodium bicarbonate this is the reactant and that is sodium bicarbonate okay this is the reactant that is sodium bicarbonate now it is being converted into what it is being converted into the water and carbon dioxide sabse pehle it is converted into sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate is converted means by the means of the reactant we get the product three product sodium bicarbonate sodium carbonate water and what else carbon dioxide co2 okay this is the reactant and then reactant is converted into three products means by one thing we have created different thing so that is product okay so how can like uh, we can predict the direct uh, like uh, the reactions how can we predict by its direction like as we know that there are two type of reaction reversible reaction and irreversible reaction so we can predict the irreversible reaction by the single headed arrow like if we want we do not understand that it is a reversible reaction or irreversible so by this arrow we can identify the irreversible reaction that here the irreversible reaction is occurring by this arrow single headed arrow we can but for the reversible reaction for the reversible reaction 
what can we do like what is now then the arrow the double headed arrow what the double headed arrow looks like it looks like this then again coming back this is for the reversible reaction and as we know that the reversible reaction is of two type forward reaction and the reverse reaction reversible so here is like the irreversible and reversible okay i hope that is like clear so now we will be going towards the example of the uh, to understand the forward reaction and to understand the backward reaction so if we are taking the two moles of nitrogen here in example we are taking the two moles of nitrogen okay i am taking two moles of nitrogen plus we are taking the three moles of hydrogen by the reaction it produces the two mole of ammonia gas by the reaction it produces what it produces what two mole of ammonia gas okay as you can see so this is the reversible like forward reaction this is the type of the reversible reaction but which reaction this is what this is the forward reaction okay forward forward this is the forward reaction okay the type of the reversible reaction understand that there are only two type of reaction reversible and irreversible and reversible then reversible have the two type the reversible have two type the forward and the reverse so here when the product are changing into reactant sorry the reactant are converted into product so this is demonstrated as the forward reaction okay now we'll take this example and it will be going opposite so now like as we know that two mole of now uh, the ammonia gas will be converted into one mole of nitrogen gas like see how everything will be changed as i told you by the double headed arrow like uh, the direction of the arrow will change like this is what the reactant was making in the forward reaction so now two mole of ammonia gas is now again converted into uh, one mole of nitrogen let me see show you two mole of ammonia this two mole of ammonia is converted into this plus this okay so this is what the reverse reaction looks like when the product is converted into reactant again the p is converted into um product a uh, rever uh, reactant okay so now when these both reaction are written as the reversible reaction means we know that these both are the type of the reversible reaction so when these both are written in the uh, like in the reversible reaction and i told you that reversible reaction is always written like this so how we will write okay uh, like here this double headed arrow shows that it is like doing the forward reaction and this is showing that it is doing the reverse reaction so now if we combine these both so this we'll be adding in the formula so in when the both of the reaction are written together as a reversible reaction they are represented as this n 
nitrogen two mole of nitrogen three mole of hydrogen and um reversible uh, forward reversible two h three so now equilibrium like here the equilibrium exit that means balance and uh, in many like uh, this is what this is now the real reversible reaction reversible reaction of two type reverse reaction and forward reaction okay we have understood it very clear now we'll be going through the um like uh, forward reaction and the reverse reaction like the some of the characteristic of the forward reaction and some of the characteristic of the uh, reverse reaction so I'm gonna write here the forward it is invisible forward We will be discussing about the forward reaction characteristic first. Then we will be going through the characteristic of the um, reverse reaction. So it is always in the direction of left to right. This is uh, left to right. Left to right. It is always in the direction of left to right. Let me explain you why. This is the forward reaction. We have understood it. Okay. So as you can see, here is the reactant that is converted into product. Okay. So here we are going left to right. Left to we are going here in this position. Like we are going left. This is left and this is right. So as we know that the rea reversible uh, reactant is always converted into product. So reactant is at the left side and product is at the right side. So that is why always the direction of the forward reaction is left to right. And uh, next up this is the first point the second point is the reactant are converted to product okay or you can also write our uh, reactant are converted into product okay mm, the like initially the forward reaction is fast fast but gradually it becomes slow 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 let's see how um example is over here so as you can see like these uh, moles are con being converted into this so they'll be reacting so fast but when they'll be reacting so at the end the energy will be slow because the product is making over here here so that is why first of all here the, the reaction will be fast gradually fast then it will be like uh, initially fast initially will be fast then gradually it will be very slow um then the reversible reaction so now moving towards the characteristic of the reversible reaction sorry not reversible re this is the type of reversible reaction that is reverse reaction reverse so the reverse reverse reaction is the reaction in which um the left the direction will be right to left as you can see right means here to here 
because the product are converted uh, sorry the the product are converted into reactant so products are converted into reactant so the direction would be this side we know that um then next up the product are converted to reactant p to r then we have um initially it will be very slow initially it will be slow because the reaction is occurring so slowly slowly the reaction will be like the product will be occur then slow to fast at the end it will be fast because the product is being made so this is what the reaction look like okay i hope that is clear